there's not really anything going on in women's rugby around the Lions, let's make it happen. Like, it's not only about the current crop of players, it's about the aspiring players. Royal London and the Lions are bringing you the conversations that really matter. And today, we'll be discussing the Women's Lions Feasibility Study. I'll be joined by former England international Shauna Brown, former Lion and current chairman of the Lions, Yayan Evans, and head of brand at Royal London, Julianne Douglas. Just how exciting in the whole context of women's rugby is the possibility of a women's Lions tour? Short answer is exciting. Even for me now as an ex-player, I'm still excited by the thought of a Women's Lions tour. It's the ultimate in, in representation for me in rugby. So for a lot of sports, but particularly amateur sports, you have an Olympic Games, you have a Commonwealth Games, but for rugby 15s, you don't have that option. And the fact that it is every four years and it's similar to an Olympic cycle every four years. And yes, it is an incredible experience going to a World Cup represented for me, England. But if there's like another level, and especially as an elite athlete, you always want more, no matter what you do, no matter how well you do. And that's not just in sport, that's in business, that's oh, in it's family. It's addictive, isn't it? That's just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is like, addictive. You get, yeah. you get to the top of your game and you think, what, what next? Like, and if there's nothing there, you want to create something there. Mm. Just drive straight, drive straight, don't overcomplicate. It's not only about the current crop of players, it's about the aspiring players. And part of the reason why we're here at Tunbridge Wells is to also recognise the grassroots level of players and if you give them carrot of, yes, you're playing here and now, but this is going to be the foundation for your career. And as you get older and the more you learn and the more you put in, the more you can take from rugby, one day you could play for the British and Irish Lions too. Yeah, and the possibility of a Women's Lions Tour is simply incredibly exciting. Can you talk us through the work that's been done over the past year and, and what part of the stage we're at now? Well, it was a pretty long and robust process, but what was important, what drove this, we needed expertise and experience around the table. Broadcasters, unions, administrators of World Rugby as well, all engaged in this process and everyone had their moment several moments in which to engage, to contribute, to challenge, to scrutinise. And that, in essence, is what the steering group was about. It's about bringing the right people into the room to discuss this. You know, what is a really exciting prospect? When you have that environment where it's safe and OK to challenge each other, that's when you come to either the best conclusion. So it's good to see, to see that from, from each different person as well. It was really important from a Royal London standpoint, even though we, we um, funded the feasibility study, to actually be part of the steering group as well and have a voice and, and also to kind of hear all the other perspectives around the table. That was just a fascinating and eye-opening for us. It wasn't just about Royal London funding the feasibility study. We really want to be part of the legacy. So even for a company like Royal London to come in and, and literally hoof down the door and say, we want to help women's rugby, which then helps women's sport, which generally helps women. And if Royal London are concentrating and British and Irish Lions are concentrating on women at this moment in time, I want to be involved. I firmly believe that the women's Lions would be a strong addition and a critical addition to sustaining the Lions' future. So it's the detail now that allows to take its course that process, that detail, which is all important, particularly when you're talking about something of the magnitude of a British and Irish Lions tour. Thank you all very much um, for sure. today. I think the collaboration between Royal London and the Lions is incredibly exciting to see a women's Lions tour in the future. It's a very, very exciting prospect indeed, so thank you all. Well, thank you for watching The Changing Room and be sure to keep an eye out for episode two in the series coming to you very soon. Mm -hmm.